Hi, I thought I'd make a short video about using canvas backdrops for portrait photography. If you're familiar with my work, you'll know that I like to use them a lot and I've got various different sizes, different colors, and with different amounts of texture. Let's look first at this one that I've got on the wall, which is the largest one that I have, uh, the extra large size from Artery Backdrops. That hangs there pretty much permanently. And as you can see, that comes all the way down to the floor and rolls out so that I can shoot full length as a complete sweep if I want to, uh, with canvas all around the, the subject, which is quite nice. But most of the work that I do, I'm closer in on the subject, usually sort of uh, mid-length or headshot style. And for that, I use the, sh the smaller backdrops, the portrait backdrops from Artery. And it's really important for me when I'm working with a client to make sure that the rhythm of the shoot is maintained. And I don't like to have dead moments where I'm changing a backdrop or changing a lighting setup because that can really kill the mood. So I've worked out a way to very quickly change backdrops without killing the, the rhythm that you've established with your client. And the usual way that you would hang a backdrop is to have a stand either side with a crossbar or sometimes uh, people use uh, a grip in the, in the middle of a backdrop and use that system instead. I've found something that's a lot quicker, so I'm gonna show you that now. Um, and it basically is a C-stand with a grip arm into uh, a standard grip head there, and that's tightened off nicely. You'll notice that the grip arm is not quite horizontal. It's angled up somewhat from the horizontal, and there's two reasons for that. One is the weight of the canvas is going to pull slightly this way. But secondly, because the core that the canvas is rolled on will not sit flat against the top edge of the grip arm, it's going to be cantilevered against it. Um, but once we put the canvas on there, you'll see that it does level itself off nicely. Before we do that, however, let's make sure we've got a counterweight in place because we're hanging all of this off of one side of a C-stand and it would fall over if we didn't counterweight. So what I have is a Manfrotto super clamp down the end here with a pin in it and I've got two sandbags on there to keep the C-stand in place. That's not going to go anywhere. You can kick it. Well, you, if you kick it that hard, it'll move slightly, but there you go. Um, and at the top, just hanging off the back of the grip arm, another sandbag that's there to, to counteract the weight that's pulling this way. I'm gonna get my canvas here. This is probably my favorite one, actually, this uh, sort of grayish green, first one I got, actually. And I'm gonna put that on there, and that hangs by itself, no problem. Then it's simply a matter of rolling it out to the desired length. And I'm gonna use one of these, uh, an A-clamp from Tether Tools to, to keep it in place. Uh, a short note on that. I've got some other clamps from other brands. There you go, just to illustrate my point. The rubber ends fall off of them very easily. So that's a pain. Don't use those, get these ones. Pull it out to the desired length. And then in here, I'm gonna take the A-clamp put it into the end of the core, and then just let it jam against the handle of the grip head, and that will stop the canvas from uh, rolling down anymore. If it's not hanging straight, if it doesn't have enough weight in itself, you can just get another clamp there and one on this corner, and that will give it enough weight to keep it hanging flat. When you're done and you want to change to a different, it's really quick. So we'll just take those clamps off. Put that there. Roll it up on itself. And I think we're going to change for a nice light color with a bit more texture, something like a, a gray, a cool gray with blue. Pop that on the end. In it goes. Let's roll that out to there. Again, put the clamp in the end there and let it jam against the grip head and away we go. That's it. 
Um, so the canvases that I've been using today are from Artery Backdrops. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can go and check those out. And also I'll put a link for the A-clamps from Tether Tools.